In Rafa, an awful new phase of the war in Gaza may be at hand, with these overnight missile strikes part of the opening salvos. The weariness on young Mohammed Khalil Abu Kines's face captured the horror he'd experienced. My friends, they died, he said. We were gathering their body parts and pieces. Israel is facing immense international pressure to stop and not send ground troops into Rafah to attack Hamas militants. The city is crowded with more than a million people and is already facing cascading crises from a shortage of food, fuel and housing. But in a video released Thursday night, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu struck a defiant tone. If we need to stand alone, we will stand alone. We will fight with our fingernails, he said in an apparent rebuke to U.S. President Joe Biden, who cut off some shipments of large bombs to Israel and who said he'd stop more if Israel went ahead with the major operation in Rafah. I'm not supplying the weapons that have been used historically to deal with Rafah to deal with the cities, to deal with that problem. Everybody now understands the depth of the rift between Israel and the U.S. Iran Etzion, a former security advisor to Israeli governments, said Israel's military can make do without the weapon shipments for now, but Biden's public rebuke is unprecedented. And what the Americans are trying to do is to demonstrate to the Israeli public their government is not representing their interests and their government is actually working against their interests. But any hope the U.S. action might provoke a sudden change of Israeli strategy quickly faded as negotiators left Cairo without a deal to free Israeli hostages and Palestinian prisoners and suspend the fighting. Hundreds of hostage families and their supporters protested in Tel Aviv, calling for their release. The humanitarian situation in Gaza, meanwhile, is precarious. Israel released video of what it said was aid moving again through one of the two border crossings it had closed earlier in the week. But in Gaza, aid officials say almost nothing is getting through and at best, Rafa has a day or two of food and fuel left. Chris, we're also hearing other American officials trying to underscore arms to Israel haven't stopped. They're still coming through with all kinds of weapons. Very much so. Huge bombs that can crush multiple high-rises in one blow may be out for now, but tank rounds, mortars, tactical vehicles, those have not been stopped. And White House officials said armaments for the Iron Dome anti-missile shield, those are also not affected. IDF spokesman Daniel Hagari indicated that this move will also not affect Israel's plans for Rafa, as he said they have enough weapons on hand to complete the mission. Adrian. All right, Chris Brown in Jerusalem. Thank you.